What's up, YouTube? This is the Bearded Baptist, and tonight I'm going to talk about the gospel. The gospel is this, real simple, real quick. It is that Jesus Christ has come down to save sinners. What are sinners? Sinners are those who have rebelled against God, who have went against His commands, a holy and righteous God. And so therefore, they no longer have fellowship with God. You see, God, we have to really begin with God. God is holy, perfect, and righteous. He is holy, 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 as Isaiah 6 verse 3 says. And so God, in the beginning, the Bible says in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God. And God created all things, right? He created man and, and woman in His image, uh, to be His image bearers, to fill the earth, and uh, to fill the earth with His image to enjoy God and to love Him forever, to love Him and enjoy Him forever. That's why man was created. But man in the garden, Adam and Eve, they rebelled against God. They sinned against God. God told them that they could not eat of the, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they did it anyway. They saw with their eyes that it was good, and they partook. And so they were cast from the presence of God. Why? Because remember, God is holy, 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 a nod to the Trinity there. That's another discussion. But God is holy, and so therefore cannot be associated with sin. And yet, as soon as Adam and Eve sins, he gives them hope. He says, from the seed of the woman, that seed will crush the head of the serpent, the one who deceived them. But the serpent will bruise his heel. So, in other words, that seed, the Bible talks about this promise of a seed, of an offspring, and that person is Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, the Son of God. Um, God, the Son, comes down, born of a virgin, and takes on the flesh of man, lives a perfect and sinless life, the life that you and I could not live, under the commandments of God, doing everything required of Him by the Father, and then going even to the cross, being obedient even unto death. Uh, so that he could redeem a people. The Bible says, As cursed is every man who hangs upon a tree. Jesus Christ was crucified, and the sin of man, sin of, the sin of those who would call upon the name of the Lord, the sin of the believers, the elect of God, was placed upon the holy and righteous Son, and he was crushed under the wrath of God because of the sin. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And not just this death, not just the physical death, but there is an eternal torment. There is an eternal death in the lake of fire. And I just want to pause and say this, that this is real. This isn't fairy tale. This isn't made up. This isn't just something that uh, a lot of people got together to control folks. This is your everlasting soul. And... I, I want you to understand that you will end up in one of two places. You will either spend eternity in heaven with God, or you will spend eternity separate from God in a place called hell. Uh, where eternal torment, where there's fire and brimstone, where there's wailing and gnashing of teeth. But the worst part about it is, is you're separated from God, separated uh, from your Creator, the very, uh, the very one who created you to fellowship with you. You will be separate from Him. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus came, Jesus Himself said that He came to the world that we might know God. And so it's not just that He saves us from our sins, but He saves us so that we might have fellowship with God again. So Jesus Christ died on the cross, died the death that we deserve, was put in the tomb for three days, but after three days rose again and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and makes intercession for those who will call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. So that is the gospel. The gospel is basically this, that Jesus Christ has come to save sinners. So Jesus has come to save sinners. So the question is now, you've heard the gospel. You've heard that God has created all things. God created man and female in His image that those first parents, those image bearers, rebelled against God. Therefore, sin entered into the world, Romans 5, through one man. Sin entered into the, in, into the world, and so death reigned. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. Now, then when Moses was given the commandments of God, uh, man continued to rebel and trespass against God, uh, to not go with those commandments, those very commandments that revealed God, who He is, His holiness, His standard, and so therefore, they're still standing guilty. All men are, or 
condemned under God. Uh, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But the good news is that John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever shall believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. That Son is Jesus Christ. He has come and he has fulfilled and he has finished the work that the Father has sent him to do. So Jesus Christ has came and he's finished the work that the Father has sent him to do. He brought names to the cross and he didn't just make salvation possible. He completed salvation for those who would call upon the name of the Lord. And so my prayer for you today is that if you realize that you are a sinner, that you have rebelled against the holy and perfect and righteous God, that you would see that you are undone and that you are in need of a Savior. Because look, you cannot get back to God on your own. On the day of judgment, when, when you die in this flesh because the wages of sin is death and you stand before God, you will not stand before God and say, Look, Lord, all the things that I did that were good outweighs all the things that I did that were bad. And so, therefore, I'm a good person. And with my righteousness that I bring to the table, I can be accepted by you and, and enter into your heaven and enter into your glory and enter into fellowship with you. That is not what the Bible says. That is not how it works. We can only enter into fellowship and know God through the shed blood of Jesus Christ based on His righteousness, based on His work. And I so plead with you, I so plead with you today that you would call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Repent of your sins. Repent of your own righteousness because your righteousness, your best worth are like filthy rags, the Bible says. That no one is righteous. No, not one. Only Christ. Christ came down in the form of man and lived the life that we could not live. Died the death that we deserve. Oh, please call upon the name of the Lord today and be saved. Uh, that is the good news. Christ has died for sinners. He's died for sinners. He didn't come for the self-righteous people, those who think they're good enough. He came for those who realize that they're not good enough and that they need a Savior. So today, if you realize that you are a sinner, that you have rebelled against God and that you need a Savior, I pray that you will call upon the name of the Lord because He has completed a work. He has made a way back to the Father. He has made a way back into perfect fellowship with God, and He will give you salvation if you call upon His name. The Bible says that all who come to Him, He will in no wise cast out. And so that is the good news of Jesus Christ. That is the gospel. The gospel is not an experience, an emotion, or anything like that. It's not even a testimony. It is God in the flesh has come down and redeemed a people, redeemed a people that has rebelled against Him. He is long suffering, He is merciful, and by His grace, he has saved sinners. Reading with you today, Christ can save you. It doesn't matter what you've done or who you are or where you've been or where you're from, your background, uh, how, how horrible your sin is, even in your own eyes. Uh, there's room. There's room for you. Call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Be saved. I, I, I do not believe in praying a prayer of repeating after me and saying, you know, Jesus, I am a sinner. You have to understand what you are, and you can call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Um, because I don't want your hope to be in a prayer. I want your hope to be in the person, in the person, in the work, the finished work of Jesus Christ. So if you have any questions, you can message me um, on, of course, YouTube. Uh, you can go to my website, codyblack.com. You can send me an email through that. And I would love to talk to you and chat with you if you've got any more questions about the gospel. But the gospel is basically the good news of Jesus Christ, that he has come down and saved sinners. He saved sinners. He saves people. And um, he saved me and done a work in my life. And, and I have to tell people. And uh, I was reluctant for a long time to get on YouTube and, and do videos like this. But I have to tell people about what Christ has done and, and has revealed in his word. And... Um, Share the good news because uh, he has commanded me to do so. Um, so if, if you will, please, please, I beg you, call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Um, I thank you for your time. Thank you for clicking on this video. And uh, again, if there's any questions, please leave a comment at the bottom. And I love you guys. Praying for you. I pray that this video does a work. And like and share and subscribe. I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye.